Hi, welcome to Season 3, Episode 2 of the Weekly Wave. I'm Matthew Lyons. And I'm Aaron Johnson. And our special guest here today is Public Outreach Coordinator for Abington Celebrates, Ms. Michelle Christian. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Thanks Thank for you for having me. So this is a little bit of a different interview because without context, um, there was the Trick or Treat Trail. Yes, there was. And uh, we did an interview on that, all fine and dandy, but then that was canceled. But then you reached out to us. Yes, we did. About your new, your new event in place of it. Yep. And the, it's called the, the Pumpkin Point, am I right? Pumpkin Point Virtual. Pumpkin virtual. Point Virtual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the Pumpkin Point Virtual is. Yeah, so a little background. When we first heard Trick or Treat Trail was canceled, the Abington had uh, gone into the red with an uptick of COVID cases. Um, we were strongly advised by the Board of Health that we really shouldn't have the event. It was originally a drive-through event, um, but there was also a lot of moving parts with it. Uh, there was a lot of participants, a lot of participants handing, you know, candy or treats to the cars. Um, we were also having a carved pumpkin contest where there was a lot of folks, you know, handing the pumpkins back and forth. There was just uh, too much going on. There was a lot of excitement with the event. Um, and we grew pretty fast and it was advised by the health department that we shouldn't do that. So we uh, had to put out a cancellation uh, last Thursday after we did the show <laughs> here. <laughs> and we put our heads together and we're like, well, you know, maybe we can do the carved pumpkin virtually somehow. And I put out a call to uh, Kevin Tachi and to you guys. And now we have Pumpkin Point Virtual. So we're going to have, uh, we're still going to have the carved pumpkin, pumpkin contest, and we're going to have uh, folks email pumpkin, their carved pumpkins. We're asking families to work together, um, you know, to, to turn them in. We ha we're asking for two pictures, one with you working on your pumpkin and one of the final pumpkin, and to email that to abingtoncelebrates at gmail.com. And from there, we're going to do a show um, similar to Abington's Got Talent. We're going to have judges from Abington Celebrates, maybe a couple others. We're not sure yet. We're still putting it all together. And um, we're going to show the pumpkins, and we have some great prizes as well. And we're going to ask everyone to have their pumpkins in to us by October 27th, by Tuesday. And we'll air it at some point the week next week, before Halloween, we hope. So. <laughs> awesome. So who, wh what's your criteria for the best I've pumpkin? Okay, well, we don't, right now, I think we're going to do just the three best. I think that's kind of how you guys did it. Abington's Got Talent. You mm -hmm. have a, the judging, just what, whatever you thought was the best at the end was the winner. Um, we do have some rules. Uh, like I said earlier, it's a family event. Um, inappropriate themed pumpkins, we can't have them. They'll be disqualified. Um, if folks want to use a commercial pattern, that can be used, but we like the original designs. You know, that gives you more points for creativity. Uh, we don't want them to be painted or otherwise decorated. We want, you know, a homemade carved pumpkin. That's what we'd like to see. And again, two photos, one of the artist and family working on the pumpkin and then one with the pumpkin, uh, the final product. And along with the photos, we want folks to kind of get creative. Um, we want the names of the artists as well as one or two, three lines about the pumpkin, something fun. Just to tell us something fun about yourself, um, about that, and you know you'll have a chance to be on the show. And we've got three top prizes. Do you know what the prizes are yet, or no? They're being worked on, <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be very good. I know that. Is there still time for people who didn't know about the event, or companies who didn't know about the event, to still contribute? Um, if they, well, we had a couple of sponsors for Trick or Treat ta Trail. Um, for this event, it's uh, Trukies. Trukies had a big sale on Saturday where they had the pumpkins for $5 for the whole day. So that was kind of our big contributor there. Just we needed everybody to buy all the pumpkins. And I actually stopped by there today. There was maybe like those one pallet left or one shelving or whatever left of pumpkins. So they looked like they did pretty good. Um, and then we had a couple sponsors for Trick or Treat Trail. Uh, that donated at the time. It was for generators and spotlights. That's not happening now. We did reach out to them and they said to hang on to it until Christmas. And that was Cream and Dairy Queen and we're very thankful for that. 
Um, speaking of Christmas, we're hoping, you know, trick or treat trail didn't happen. We're planning on a tree lighting. It's still probably too early <laughs> to really say what we're going to do at this point with everything with the pandemic, and we, we just don't know. So, you mentioned that Trukies had that uh, great sale for the pumpkins. Was mm -hmm. that like a huge influence in deciding to do something like pumpkin carving related? Um, yeah, they had them five dollars, and then we also passed out flyers, so we were trying to get people involved there. So we're, we're hoping to get a lot this week, a lot of entries. And uh, I don't know if I missed it, but what is the deadline to get your pumpkin pictures in? We need all the pumpkin pictures in and descriptions by Tuesday, October 27th. At is there having, a time for that? Or? Um, midnight. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. At the <laughs> end of the day. At the end of the day. Um, at Abington Celebrates at gmail.com. Okay. All right. So this yeah. event is being held via Zoom. Via Zoom. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we'll have judges so from uh, our committee and... Might have a couple others. We're still work putting all that together. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So mark yeah. your calendars and get to carving your pumpkins. And I brought you guys yes. yours right here. So I <laughs> hope you have a theme in mind. So there's no excuse. There's, there's no, no excuse. excuse. There is this, no. You're at the first entry right here. Okay. The weekly, we need to yes. record us actually doing it yes. like step by step of the weekly wave pumpkin. Yeah. 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 Viewers, Abington Cam their first um, first submission right here <laughs> all right well i guess we gotta get to carving then um should have brought the tools with me <laughs> <laughs> thank you for uh stopping by and telling thank us you. about this event yeah. thanks for having me thanks for watching and tune in next week for a brand new episode of the weekly wave make sure to follow us on our social media accounts at the green wave gazette and the weekly wave stay safe goodbye everybody mm -hmm.